Shepherd dogs, Rottweilers, Labradors, Poodles. We all know about these dog breeds because they're quite common. But what about the truly rare and even unique breeds? What about the endangered British dogs? Or dogs that were walked by the Aztecs themselves? Never heard of them? Hmm. Then you'll love this episode. Today I'll show you the rarest dogs in the world that will surprise you. Let's go! Norwegian Lundehund Let's not start with Great Britain or Latin America, but the land of the Vikings. The Norwegian Lundehund is from here. To be more precise, these dogs are from the Lofoten Islands in Norway. This breed is considered not only one of the rarest, but also one of the oldest in the world. They were looked after by the ancient Scandinavians and Vikings. Dogs helped them in many ways. In particular, they were catching Atlantic puffins on the steep cliffs. Hence, the name of the breed comes from that, as it's translated the Hunter of Puffins. In the past, these dogs were very common in Scandinavia, but over time their population began to decline. The reason was the bird hunt. Atlantic puffins began to be caught by people themselves, and the Norwegian Lundehunds were not needed. Breeders are trying to save the population, but the prognosis is disappointing. There are literally a couple of thousand Norwegian Lundehunds left in the world. Otterhound Otterhounds are much like their distant Norwegian congeners. Like the Norwegian Lundhunds, otterhounds have always been regarded as tough hunters. However, they didn't catch Atlantic puffins, but otters. The difference between them is that the situation with otterhounds is even worse. There are only about a thousand of them left in the world, so their breed is considered endangered. The otterhound was bred in Britain in the 19th century. Having strong sense of smell, otterhounds aided and abetted humans by catching otters. In this way, otterhounds protected the fishing industry because otters are predatory creatures that are very fond of fish. Everything was well until 1978 when England passed a law banning otter hunting. As it happened with the Norwegian Lundehunds, otterhounds were no longer needed and their population declined dramatically. Lochen What would a hybrid between a lion and a dog look like? Maybe something like this? Lochins have a very memorable appearance. A lion's haircut, small size, graceful and aristocratic features. These dogs have it all. Not surprisingly, centuries ago, lochins were the pets of the nobility, who went to balls with them and posed for portraits. Even nowadays, lochins are suitable for any socialite who likes to go out there and mingle, but only a few of these dogs are left. At the end of the 19th century, they were considered almost extinct, and in the middle of the 20th century, the lion dog was listed in the Guinness Book of Records as the rarest. The trend continues to this day. At the moment, less than a hundred lochins are born each year around the world. As you can imagine, this is extremely low for normal reproduction, but lochins are still holding out. The Zolo Itzquintel is the name of the following dog breed. It's a good thing that it has another name, Zolo, because the full name is a jawbreaker. Perhaps some of you have already guessed from the name that these dogs are of the Aztecs. And not only them, the Aztec Empire existed in the 14th to 16th century AD, while Zolos were running around Latin America long before that. It's believed that the breed appeared in what is now Mexico around 5000 BC. Thus, the Zolo is one of the oldest breeds in the world, and many scientists are certain that these Mexicans are the most ancient. They were once considered guides to the netherworld and some people believe they could cure diseases in one night. Nowadays, Zolos are treated like real jewels. Not only are they still old-timers, but they're also very rare dogs. It's a great fortune to encounter a Zolo. Thai Ridgeback And here's another old-timer. The Thai Ridgeback is the national breed of Thailand and the pride of this country. Sinologists consider these dogs to be one of the oldest on the planet. And if in the case of origin of the Zolo, at least some versions can be put forward, everything is more complicated in the case of the Thai Ridgeback. Scientists still do not know when did these dogs appear and from whom they exactly originated. In Thailand and other countries of Southeast Asia, Thai Ridgebacks are quite common, but outside of this region there are practically none, making this breed extremely rare. To make you understand, outside of Southeast Asia, there are only about a thousand of these dogs, and in the US, the Thai Ridgeback appeared only in 1994, only 28 years ago. 
and this has given such a long history of the breed. It's a shame that these dogs are not so common because they're considered great pets. Thai Ridgebacks are independent, very easy to handle in everyday life, good defenders and just great friends. Moody Once again we have the ancient dogs. The prototypes of the Hungarian Moody breed dates back to the Middle Ages, when Moody liked dogs grazed herds. At the time, the Moody was quite a popular breed in Hungary, where they were valued for a wide range of cool qualities. Moody's are excellent guards, companion dogs, rescue dogs, and most importantly, excellent pets. Hungarians are proud of the Moody, but outside Hungary, the Moody is a little-known dog. Like the Thai Ridgeback, it's a local breed which is extremely rare outside its homeland. And that's a pity because the Moody is a very beautiful and unusual dog that, among other things, can boast a memorable appearance. When talking about rare dogs, we shouldn't think only about breeds. Even individuals can be considered rare and unique due to their qualities and peculiarities. For example, what about a dog which was over 2 meters tall? Isn't it rare? Or what about a dog worth $2 million? <laughs> They're extremely rare too. It's worth finding out about them. Stay tuned because there's more to come. The Biggest Dog How big do you think a pet dog can be? If you can't imagine it, take a look at Zeus, and it all makes sense. Zeus was the largest domestic dog in the world. The world record holder of the Great Dane breed was listed in the Guinness Book of World Records on October 4, 2011. Even from the pictures, you can see that Zeus was just gigantic. But the numbers are even more striking. Zeus was almost 112 centimeters tall and weighed 70 kilograms. But the most amazing thing is that when Zeus stood on its hind legs, it was 223 centimeters tall. If it could play basketball, it would be a champion. Zeus's owners had a hard time. They gave the dog about 15 kilos of food every day to keep the giant in shape and drove Zeus around in a truck. It just didn't fit in the sedan. Unfortunately, the record breaker is no longer with us. It passed away in 2014 at the age of five. And here is the exact opposite, the smallest dog in the world. This of course is the Chihuahua. Ordinary close-up photos of this dog named Miracle Millie do not give a complete picture of its size. But if Millie is photographed in front of different objects, it becomes clear how tiny it is. You can literally carry Millie in your jacket pocket because it's only 10 centimeters tall and weighs about half a kilo. Even as an adult, Millie is very tiny, and as a puppy it was even smaller than a smartphone. Even though the owners love Millie, they admit that it's not easy with it. When walking, it often gets lost in the low grass. By the way, Millie is interesting not only because of its size, it's the most cloned dog in the world. Scientists from South Korea created 49 genetically identical copies of Millie to understand why it's so tiny. I understand scientists. Such rare and unique dogs are hard to be found. Considering Millie's tiny size, its unusualness and record-breaking status, I think it's worth a lot. Clearly the owners won't sell it, but still. But what about dogs for sale? Which one is the most expensive? Tibetan Mastiffs are the undisputed record holders in this regard. Even ordinary puppies are very expensive, and the super record-breaking ones even more so. They literally cost a fortune. In 2011, the media was stunned by the news of the purchase of a Tibetan Mastiff named Big Splash. One and a half million dollars. That's how much one Chinese tycoon gave for the dog. By the way, the fact that the Tibetan Mastiff was bought by a Chinese man makes sense. In China, these dogs are considered a symbol of luxury, like luxury sports cars and diamond watches in Western countries. Big Splash surprised everyone. But even such an incredible record was broken. In 2014, the record was renewed. A one-year-old Tibetan Mastiff puppy went under the hammer for $2 million. The purchase was again made by a Chinese rich man. I wouldn't even be surprised if in a few years we hear about the purchase of a Tibetan Mastiff for three, five, or ten million greenbacks. That's all, guys. Which dog breed do you like the most? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching, and see you later.